All right, this is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 2, question number 9. A relationship between T, the number of years since 2004, and the number of students in the band is shown in the table and graph below. So they give you a table and a graph, which is kind of nice. The question says, using the line of best fit, what is the best prediction for the number of students in the band in 2012? Now there's a couple things that you have to understand about this question. Number one, how they indicate the date. Number two, where the data is they're asking you for in terms of where the graph is. And number three, there's tons of ways to answer this question. I'm going to show you probably about two of them. Um, the reality is they're showing you not years in the X, uh, in the list for X or in the first section of the table. Instead, they're showing you years since 2004, which means that this would be 2004. This would be 05, 06, 07, 08, 09. 2010, 11 would be 7, and 12 would be 8. So you have to know that you're going two uh, numbers past where they're giving you information to try to figure out what your number is going to be. Now, from there, we can sort of get an idea of a line of best fit without doing any real math. If you're pretty good at analyzing about where the center of this line would be, it gives you some idea of the answer anyway. So I'm going to say it's somewhere balancing out right around in this general vicinity. And I could say with pretty much with a reasonable amount of certainty that's going to be somewhere in this general area right here is going to be my answer. Now if that were 86 that seems to make a lot of sense because 86 should fall in somewhere right in here. 98 would be way up here which seems a bit out of line no matter how sharply you take it because this thing's going to pull you down just a little bit. Um, 105 would be way up here and 122 or sorry it'd be like right in here 122 would be way up in this general vicinity. It's way too high. So the likely answer is going to be 86. What happens if you don't like that type of uncertainty and you just don't want to draw the line? It's a little seems a little silly to you to do it that way. That's fine too. Here's a quick way that you can still get the answer and it's using the calculator. I'm going to erase some of this stuff, not all of it, and I'm going to pull the calculator over. Now, in order to do this, I need to make a list of the data that I already have. So I'm using a T84 Plus, obviously. I'm going to go into the Stat menu. I'm going to go to Edit, hit Enter. And this is going to take me to the list. I already added the list numbers in because I was testing to make sure that I could get the correct answer in the quickest way possible so I don't waste your time. All you have to do is plug in the answers, make sure they match up. You have six rows, you have six, it's nice. Once you have all your data in, and I'm going to, you might want to pause for a second so you can punch it in and make sure you get the same answer. If not, you know, okay. So let's we'll quit out of the data once we have it. So hit second quit. Now I'm going to use the data. So I'm going to go back into the stat menu and go to calc. I need to know I want a line of best fit, which means I'm doing something that's linear. So I'm going to go down to where it says linreg for linear regression, which is it takes the data and tries to make the line of best fit for you and hit enter. Hit it again and it gives you this information. Uh, it has it in sort of MX plus B form, but they call it AX plus B, whatever. They're the manufacturer. They can do it how they want. So what I'm going to do is just plug in the value for 2012, which I saw uh, or I worked out before as being um, 8 away from the 0. So I need to go up to 8 because that would be 2012. So what I'm going to do is type in the Y equals MX plus B form, but for A I'm going to type in 4.57 more or less. I'm not going to type it all the way out because that's a waste of time. The X in this case I would plug in would be 12 and then plus the B would be 49.71. My answer for this should give me the point about where 2012 will be and it says that it should be at about 104.55. I think I typed something in wrong. Oh, I did. Don't do what I did. Ha, I'm going to leave this in here because I totally messed it up. I wrote 12 down thinking it was 12. The number I'm supposed to punch in is 8 because it's 8 away, even though I said it. It's like I just completely forgot. Right here's the number you put in. Don't put in 12 for 2012 like I did. That's where the 105 answer comes from. So don't be stupid like me. Be smart. Um, put in your 8. Then type in 49.71. And by the way, I wasn't trying to do that to be to show you a type of mistake you can make. I just messed it up. Uh, hit enter there. You get 86.27, which is why the answer is D. My uh, other method of drawing a line in my own mind sort of worked just fine. So that's the answer. Just make sure that you don't do something dumb like this 
and get the question wrong even though you understood how it worked. So just know that this is, you might even want to write out the two. I was being lazy. That might have saved me a lot of headache. I would have known better. So make sure you plug in, plug in the eight so it matches the table. You get your final answer of 86 being your best prediction of where it's going to be in 2012. So sorry about the mistake, but I'm sort of glad that it happened because it may keep you from making it.